your boy this small sneaker head in the house coming with yet another pickup slash unboxing before we get started please hit that thumbs up comment subscribe it truly goes a long way as i mentioned in my previous video in regards to the foams pick these came in the mail tuesday i didn't want to wait to do a full unboxing of both pairs so i just opened it myself so the initial reaction may be gone but i'm still hyped about these i got these from the good folks at adidas i'm sure everybody sees these these are a crazy eight box very slept on i actually had my on these since late july when they released images of this particular uh colorway but without further ado let's get into this unboxing pickup bam we have the adidas crazy eight mutumbos not in my house <laughs> these joints is fire fire flame fire flame straight dope i mean this colorway caught my eye for so many reasons obviously the black and yellow works really well that's one reason why i like the thunder 14s initially i was saying ah, i'd hold off on these because i have those and you know how many black and yellow shoes can i have but i couldn't turn on these got these from adidas.com i used ebay so i got 10 bucks back and i had a little uh 15 gift card that i had from the outlet here for something that i returned a long while ago so it was well under it was it was under 100 bucks for these so um when it's all said and done so very dope very very dope shoe but let me get into the uh i'm gonna be a little bit more in depth with this the colorway stems from not any of the jerseys mutombo wore it stems from the actual shoe his adidas mutombo ones that released earlier this year so you got the hits of the yellow the red on the 55 the red on the adidas heel here you have the Mutombo logo right there, which is really sick. And you got the red on the bottom on the Adidas Torsion. Um, you also have the tribal print all along the inside there. I hope y'all can see that. There you go. All along here is the tribal print from the Mutombo one. All along there. Also, the, what is really dope about this shoe, it has almost like a denim feel to it or a canvas type feel to it it's really sick i hope y'all can see that though but there's a hit of the 55 there and some more of the matumbo tribal print from the matumbo one there and uh, i love the canvas it's real durable i know it's going to be real durable so i'm sure i can get a lot of wares out of this uh, particular shoe but these joints are straight dope also the three stripes have this snake skin um, pat leather type look to it let me see if i could zoom in for y'all but hopefully y'all can see that and then on the back heel you just have a hit of pat leather right here but yeah these joints is dope these are so dope i am a little disappointed with the quality though um on this pair here if you look along the laces um it's kind of hard to see but the trim wasn't done properly right here and right here if you look here it's seamless this here the seams are all out um right here you have like just a piece of the uh, stitching coming out. Uh, God, I don't know if y'all can see that, but stitching coming out here. Um, but again, it is what it is. This I know this shoe is going to last and it's going to be real durable. On the other pair though, this pair, everything is, is nice and seamless here. But I have one huge gripe. If you look on the pull tab there's a big old thing of glue right here which is kind of ridiculous but again it is what it is um it's not only nike that does subpar pairs you know what i'm saying every other brand does it too but it's just not as much and we got to keep in mind too for every one of these shoes that adidas makes nike makes tenfold which is one of the reasons why the quality is always so crappy because they have to mass produce a lot more kicks. It's no excuse in my opinion to raise the prices or to give us low quality shoes, but I'm sure that's one of the big reasons. They got a budget that they gotta make, that they have to keep for particular shoes. So even if it means using cheaper materials, they still know it's gonna sell out because we uh, sneaker enthusiasts will still rock and buy the kicks. But yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think of these. I think they're really slept on. You can get them from Adidas still. 
Um, they are limited in terms of the number of quantities, but you can get it from Adidas, you can get it from um, Villa, I believe, has, still has some. Also, there will be, hopefully, there's a Jeremy Lin release that was supposed to come out of these that's in the Houston Rockets colorway, and as we know, Jeremy Lin is no longer with the Rockets, but it's real sick. I'll throw a picture up here. Bam, so you can see those. I hope to nab those too. This is my first pair of Crazy 8, so I'm real, real happy with that. It's your boy, the Smart Sneakerhead, and a brother is out. Peace.